Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to all the bus nighted to the sky. You are seeing me chopping down trees, obviously. But I'm trying to get wood chipping so I can actually get some more dirt. And also, I'm trying to harvest some more cactus because what I want to do today is do a bunch of base upgrades. Because in the last episode, we set up this stuff right here. And I've made some changes. As you can see, there's a new chest here. I want to upgrade this a little bit. I want to upgrade some of this over here. And we need to set up a system so that we can get redstone automated. But that is going to be a little bit of a different task because... Come on, eat that toast. Because I'm going to use some different machines and also I need to do a bunch of filtering, I believe, in order to do this the way that I wanted to. And I'll have four cactus, which is probably not going to be enough. I'm going to put these in here because that is going to allow me to actually go ahead and get two green dye instead of only one. As you can see, this over here is running very well. And what I did over here, basically I had issues with item prioritization. And it turns out you can actually pre-save how you want this to be with this button. So place everything the way you want it to be. I then chose to add cobblestone as a filter block. And then click this, remember the current items, the internal and external buffers, and boom. That is that. And now only the selected items actually go where they're supposed to. So osmium and alu aluminum, aluminum in here, iron, copper, gold, etc. there. And then re the remaining, such as coal, flint, emerald, lapis, and diamond, and amethyst goes into this chest. And there we go. That is the eight green dye. Now these didn't go into that first because they're already done. So that is beautiful. Now, next, I need to figure out how I get water because I need quite a bit more, um, what's it called? I, 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 need, I need dust. Not dust, I need clay, sorry. And I'm pretty sure you can, like, add stuff to this thing and it will slowly make water, but that is so tiny. Never mind, I forgot that I had this. Okay, yep, good morning, me. It's, uh, okay. Wow. Wow. That, that's all I have to say to that. Wow. A very, very big wow. All I gotta do is run back and forth a little bit, fill this up, and then go ahead and bloop, bloop. There we go. Got plenty of clay there. And boom, eight clay. Very nice. I can now add these to here. And basically what I'm trying to make is some more gold upgrades. I want more gold upgrades, which is why I have this. And I also will be needing a little bit of gold. And then I want to basically make a diamond upgrade for each of these. So it goes just that tiny bit faster. I'm actually going to steal this and this. Because very soon I will be able to make one more. I actually already have a little bit more cyan dye. I was sure. Yep, I even have a little bit more cyan terracotta, which is brilliant. I just need to go ahead and make a little bit more blue dye, such as this. I combine with this to get this. And I can actually, if I have glass, do I have glass? I, as a matter of fact, do not have glass. Well, this stack of sand should do the trick very quickly. And go ahead and do this. Boom. Now, all I need is basically the glass and probably quite a lot of diamonds. While that is happening, though, I want to make an iron to gold furnace upgrade, which should be fairly easy to do. Uh, I hope in a way that I have all I need for it. Just one ironing it. Thank you. All I need to do is do this and this with this and then this. And I should be able to do this. And that's that. Get this in here. And it should be working faster, plus it will allow us to have more stuff in here. And my plan is actually to get another enrichment chamber up here, so we have two of those running at the same time. Uh, we still have the factory in there. We can even add a speed upgrade if we wanted to. There we go, augment speed, uh, which is this recipe, which is actually half the cooking time for recipes uses up twice the amount of fuel, though. How are we doing for power? We are still... Keeping up, and I have decided that even though it's going to look ridiculous when we need more power, I will add more windmills here, 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 and here, even though it's going to look ridiculous. It's free power, and right now, it is those and this thing, I don't even think this is... Okay, it is out 2100%, but like, yeah, we, we're keeping up with power very, very well here. Okay, I want to make another enrichment chamber a little bit later, uh, but for now, I can go ahead and make another skull speed upgrade. And then I can turn that into a diamond upgrade. And to begin with, I'll need to add that to here. As you can see, it is working a lot faster. It is also, however, going to use more power, but we are keeping up, which is good. Uh, so now it is consuming 512 RF per tick. How on earth are we even generating that much? This, this, this can't be right. <laughs> it's processing 16 items at a time. Uh, 
it looks like we could actually stack those as well. I didn't know you could actually stack them. But like, okay, yeah, now it... Uh, how, how are we keeping up? All of this is powered. I, how? You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna not ask questions because... Oh, there we go. Right, yeah, I might need some more windmills. Oh yeah, I will be needing more windmills. <laughs> well, I'm glad I discovered this before continuing recording for another like 30 minutes. My microphone was muted for a large portion. Um, basically, I managed to make these. If you didn't know, they're expensive, but they were pretty easy to make. However, there's something that I didn't realize. So now with these, we are now generating or uh, taking using 512 RF a tick per one of these because every one of them has a diamond upgrade. So that is 1024 RF a tick. Then we have these two running and all this and our power is now basically bye bye. Uh, <laughs> So what I'm trying to do now is setting up so we can set up another magmatic dynamo. Hopefully this thing will be able to keep up with both of them. Um, in fact, I'm going to have to remove you, place you here and do this instead. And next up, I need to go ahead and make some more wind generators because they're just good. They're really good. And as soon as I can get into like a uh, wireless power, I don't know if ender something something. I assume there's some ender mechanic where we can transfer power. Uh, we have Ender I.O. Wow, I didn't know that. I actually didn't know we had Ender I.O. in this. Uh, Ender chest, Ender bag, Ender pouch, Ender tank. Uh, we do have energy card. I, I don't know how to do wireless power. It's probably in the quest line somewhere. However, uh, I now need to make some of these, which is redstone. So I need two of each, and I would like to make four. So that means I need to make eight, and I can only make three. One, two, three. I need a lot more gold, and I also need a lot more this. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is expensive. I can, however, make the first wind generator, which we can now play, and it's raining. It's raining. But I'm going to place this. That's going to add 34, 34 more to the network. So basically, I'm adding 3, 6, 70, 140 RF a tick extra by adding extra windmills. Not quite enough, I'm afraid. I'm gonna go ahead and make an envar here, make a redstone conduit, and then I should be able to make a magmatic dynamo, which I can then place uh, like this. This I also place the coal generator. That's how desperate I am for power at the moment, by the way. <laughs> uh, need fluid pipe to go here, not there. Add to this, so this is being emptied now, but it should split it between the two, hopefully, and we should be generating power. RF a tick, yep. 40 and yep but i think this is working and i think it's going to be able to keep up this is generating 40 this is generating 40 uh we're still not gaining more power though but hopefully it'll go up eventually so that's one two and three and four and now i should be able to go ahead and make one and then two wind generators turns out you only need two of the uh, energy tablets per and not three as i first thought that is one, and that is two. I just need one more. <laughs> they have a giant wall of wind generators. I mean, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. We're not still not keeping up, but uh, we'll get there eventually. Oh, look at that. We can get a free gold upgrade. Okay, that's cool. And I didn't. I really didn't mean to pin that. Next is the netherite upgrade, but I don't think we're quite ready for that just yet. I mean, that's just a theory of mine, but I really, really don't think we're ready for that. <laughs> Okay, one, two, energy tablet, boom, done with that. Wind generator, boom, done with that as well. And there we go. That is all the wind generators that I'm going to be making for now. I still don't think we're generating quite enough power. We are not. Are we? I think, yeah, we're still using more than we're gaining. So I still need to solve my power issue before I can actually go ahead and do anything about this. Like, I still want to make the enrichment and polarizer, but I need more I need to generate more power, and this right here might be the way to do it. I just need to set up an actual power station for this. All right, I have decided to upgrade this over here to be a, basically a power uh, power station over here. So I think I'll want five. I'm going to get rid of this wall right here for now, which is going to be careful not to fall in. Uh, I'm going to demolish this for now. Because I will be needing all of this stuff. So give me this. Give me you. Give me that. Definitely give me this. Give me the lava. And do give me uh, this. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up. So each one of these is basically... I could hook it up to my diamond one up there. 
basically keep upgrading this until I have one that can provide for all of them. Okay, yeah, let's do that then. So that is going to be here. This is going to be here. I'm going to be needing my item pipe. So that means this, 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 this. And cut. Basically, I'm swooping in here to save you about 10 minutes of your life because I was sitting there and trying my hardest to figure out how to produce enough lava for these magma crucibles. As you can see, I was setting up 10 of them with lava underneath them, yada, yada, yada. Big mess, and it was not enough. And I did not remember what I was doing in my old ATM 7 to the sky world where I only had like one or two puzzling crucibles running. Uh, so I went back, looked and found out exactly what I was doing, well, some of what I was doing wrong anyway, and uh, brought it back here. So I'm just going to skip to where I realized that point, uh, so skip to that point where I realized that, and uh, then we're going to continue from there. Just going to make things, yeah, a little bit faster. So, uh, yep, thank, you, th thank me down below in the comments for saving you time, and uh, 3 to 1, let's bring it back. Ladies and gentlemen, I have something to introduce to you as if we just go into here, the inventory, and let's just take a look at the uh, the, the porcelain and crucible, right? If we go into the heat sources, you know, we got fire, we got uh, dark matter melt rate, and blah, blah, blah. We have the blaze mesh. However, there is this amazing block called the superheating element from Mechanism. And I must have thought when I saw this that, oh, must have overlooked the 60 times, but also I must have thought, you know what, this... Per probably requires power or something, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mm, mm, nope, it's very easy. <laughs> a little bit of redstone, a little bit of copper, steel casing, just like this, and this thing will times it up by 60. This cur- uh, Yeah, I, I tore down the other one. Uh, the old one was times three with lava. This is 60. Yeah, that's what I had in ATM7. And that's why in ATM7 uh, to the sky, I only had two puzzle and crucibles instead of uh, five. So um, I have, every <laughs> have 10 puzzle and crucibles. Oh, I don't have research stuff to be at the beginning eh, because I like to jump straight into it and then uh, I regret it later. Anyway, I need to make some steel casing, which means I need to steal ingots. Of course, I only actually I have six. We might as well, we might be able to only get away with one. Okay, I did make a, make a promise in one of the comments in the la in one of the last episodes that the day that the Wandering Trader does not scare me, I will treat him with uh, kindness, or at least treat him better than what I have been so far. Uh, show him a little bit more respect. And so I shall keep my promise, okay? I shall keep my promise, indeed. Uh, I just want to really quickly, while I remember it, to grab some of this, grab a little bit of redstone, which I probably really shouldn't because I probably need to save it for something. But I just really want to make a basic to iron tier upgrade and upgrade this to an iron chest, just like that. Boom. Uh, very nice. And I also need, I believe, what's it, four copper and four redstone. I just want to make this. I'll check out the trader in a moment. Oh, it's osmium. Uh, os osmium? Oh, yeah, osmium. Okay. I was, I was worried I was saying it wrong. There we go. Steel casing. Boom. Super heating element. And this does not need any power whatsoever. It, it just does its thing. Also, I made a branch over here. Made basically a copy of this over here just for power generation stuff and we're gonna place it uh, yeah, uh, probably right here uh just one issue do i have a water bucket no i don't okay let's first take a look at this so let's see uh infernal iron sword of slaying on hit gain speed on hit inflict weakness yeah huh uh entity reach this item ignores 10% of the ability damage Nine. I need this. This is... F uh, you know what? A good trade. A good trade, I feel. What do you want? Ten emeralds and five iron. That's a steal right there. I'm actually gonna get that. This is one of the few times I actually buy something from a trader. Uh, 9.75 attack damage, fire damage, life steal, and some empty sockets, which I don't know how to actually get, but look at that. This is a... This is, this is a weapon. Look at this. I mean, it looks like an iron sword, but look at... Huh? Hello? Okay, there we go. Yep, okay. Right, yeah. This is cool. This is very cool. What do you have else? Totem of Undying. Mangrove... Probably cool. What is all this? Worthy equipment. <laughs> Bumblebee spawn egg. Cannot be used on a... I feel like I should buy some of this stuff. I feel like I should... I got deal of... Why... Why am I being... Like... There we go. Okay, get this and get that. Sounds important. Probably should get two so I can do some breeding if necessary. Um, Totem of Undying. I don't think I'll need that. 
But I got the other stuff though, so there, there you go. See, I, I get being nice to wandering traders. Oh yeah, which is, this also means we have a new section over here, which is cool. I don't know what to use it for yet, but uh, we got it. Okay, I was looking for a lava bucket, of which I have... No, water bucket, sorry, of which I have none, not even an empty bucket. So I'm just going to make a new one, because uh, we have a lot of resources. This, this, yeah, this thing is... How are you still getting... How, how are you... Oh, because we're... Oh, right, yeah, because we're not completely... <laughs> we're not completely not making power. The windmills are keeping up quite nicely, actually. And I will say, this new sword actually does do quite... It's, it's pretty cool. As you probably just saw. Or oh, maybe I decided to not show anything, because there was nothing to show, you know? There's nothing to show, nothing to see, nothing to, uh... Huh. Nothing to anything. Yep, everything's, uh... Yep, mm-hmm. Don't know what any of you are talking about. Nope, nope. The, the one of the is just gone, you know? Just, just gone. Vanished. Poof. Out of, out of nowhere. You know, it can't, can't, can't be helped. Anyway, uh, superheating element, porcelain crucible, just, just the one, just the one, just the one, believe it or not. And we add this over here, right? And we add two item pipes, boom, boom. Would you stop that? <laughs> I set this to output, and this is not even filling up the cobblestone fast enough, as you can see. So this is being filled up very fast, and I suppose we could have, uh, maybe I haven't orientated this the proper way maybe having actually yeah i'm gonna take that back i'm gonna take these i'm gonna have them here i think for now and we're gonna do this i think this still gets filled up right yep it still takes it from the side so that means i can go up with the fluid pipes and basically plop these down and these should have uh these should still have all the upgrades in them like the uh, augment there we go yep and eh eh nope eh okay I'm gonna do this properly because I want this to work the first time. Please, thank you. All right, perfect. So these should all very easily be getting lava equally. So this is not storing anything. This is getting lava. This is getting a little bit less. This is getting less because it's at the end. The middle one is gonna get the most, but it's keeping up. I think it is keeping up. Now, what I need to do is connect this. So basically that is eight. 80 160 so that's 320 and then another 80 that is 400 rf a tick generated by these generators alone yep they're keeping up with the lava very very nicely i am tempted to add another one of these and add another five magmatic dynamos because then i think we will actually start getting all the power that we are using so that would mean moving this over a little bit actually which is Fine. Do I want to do that? Do I want to make another magmatic dynamo? Magmatic dynamo. Do I want to do that? That's a little boy, a bit more envar. But I can probably deal with that. In a way, I can't actually really believe that in this entire setup, we've actually still been running this machinery here and the furnace and this still, uh, to a degree anyway, and producing like ores. <laughs> like, look at this thing. Almost two full stacks of iron ore, which will then result in four iron ingots. I mean, that's just ridiculous. All right, I'm almost there. I think I might need a little bit more redstone, actually. Yep, I only have one. I only have one redstone, unfortunately, so I'm not quite there yet. Good thing I have plenty of dust to sieve. And I can promise you, I am getting really, really tired of these colors, Cychorium something, something gems. They're really, really bugging me. Uh, status report, that was not enough redstone. Now, however, I should be able, if I grab this iron, which I'm actually running a little bit low on, believe it or not. Boom, five more magmatic dynamos. Now, these are not actually going to be upgraded, because I just don't have the resources to do that at the moment. Also having to make even more power cables. But these can transfer 3000 FE a tick. So we should be good here. I'm going to grab you and pick this up. Which is going to slow down the power production a little bit. Ooh. I'm going to place this here. Actually, I'm, I'm, I, have th I have two. It's a bit stupid probably. But I can, I can afford to like... <laughs> uh, please pick... Okay. Okay. Good, good thing I have an extra. Uh, I, yeah, I can, I can afford to have two here. I don't need to, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, I can if I wanted to. I need more redstone because I forgot I needed to make this and I need more steel as well. Uh, I will have to do this the old way of you doing this and then combining that and getting that. Then I need to come 
fine like this. Oh, with the hammer, yeah. And boom, plenty of steel dust. Cook that. Get more redstone. And with that, I should be able to make a steel casing. Superheating, as long as I have the copper, which I do here. Go ahead and make this. Boom. Combine you with there. Place you here. And then I need to connect you and disconnect you. And then place one, two. Disconnect all of that and connect. Boom, boom. Disconnect. Boom, boom. Set this to output. Get up here. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Place like this. All of them. All of them in the right direction. Each producing for the RF attack. Yep. There we go. Getting lava. And it is keeping up indeed, as we can see, even out here in the ends. And are we generating more than. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, how are, are we getting are we getting enough power here? 20,000, 20, 32,000 RF stored and we're going to get up to 33. Maybe we're making just enough. 33 again. I don't think we saw that at the first time. Maybe. Nope. 30. OK. Ah, <sighs> how many more of these do I need to make? Like I haven't even upgraded these to netherite yet or stacked these. What am I going to do then? Okay, five hardened integral components has been crafted, increasing these from it producing 200 RF, RF attack to 400. So now we're generating 800 from this. We're getting 200 something from up there. We might start to actually can we maximum output? Uh, so we are inputting we're inputting 1004 and we're Max outputting 160, but where do I see exactly how much we're transferring? Is that what we're transferring there? Uh, for 700 something, 600? I'm so confused. Can this basic energy cube even output enough? I'm just realizing now. If max output is 160, uh, I think it's just about there. But I somehow refuse to believe that this is not enough power because I had I didn't even have 10 of these back in my in my other world. Uh, hmm. And this is the way way above my current pay grade. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I think with all that, all I can say is at the moment until I do even more research, apparently that this is the best that we can do. This way probably needs to be upgraded. Maybe making some solar panels eventually is probably a good idea. Something like basic or hardened, but basic is going to be this max that we can do. Generate 60 FE a tick, uh, which basically means if we can get like nine of these or 10, we can generate 600 easily. And there shouldn't be super complicated to make because this is a fairly easy recipe as long as we have clay, which we have and plenty of coal, which we also have and blaze powder, which is this. So I'm tempted to make those down the road, but everything has has power the way that it should. All of it not losing anything. And this, oh, this is now building up. Oh, hello. Wait, what happened? Ev everything is built up and this probably will start building up as soon as this is built up. We are actually generating more than we're using. Wait, this is this is amazing. It's going to take a bit for this, but it's it's full now. And is this going to start building up now? Maybe. Or is it just maxing out? Just about. It's just about maxing out. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, we're starting a little bit. I think eventually we will actually have more. So now it's not the time to make a speed upgrade for the enrichment chamber. Is it? <laughs> uh, I'm tempted to try and see what happens. You just we're we're in the we're we're in the topic of power. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do it, do it, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, we're slowly building our power. I just started using this thing and it went down, but we are slowly saving power now. So if I just get a bunch of solar panels in the next episode, which we will have to do because I'm running out of time here, then that would be really, really good. Maybe we just make a new section that way. Oh, actually, hold on. Hold the phone. We move those. I didn't know what to do with this part. We move these all the way over here and make this the green energy part. So windmills down here. Boom, each side and solar panels just in the middle. Giant uh, natural uh, power plant and just keep upgrading the solar panels as we go. Right, I'm going to try and make this now. Um, increase the speed of machinery, maximum installed eight. I don't know if I will be able to even notice a difference with this. Uh, installed, 
increases speed of machinery. I assume it also increases the uh, using of power. And it's a little bit faster, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste the 15 extra RF. Instead, I would much rather make an extra enrichment chamber, which I should be able to do fairly easily. I'm glad I made a lot of steel because apparently I need another steel casing. Then we will make a bunch of speed upgrades down the road. And I will also have to rearrange this power cabling solution here because this is not working. I'm going to have to take this out, this, 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 and this, and this also. And you know what? This too, because this is really bugging me. Uh, and ooh, we have connected that to there. Uh, okay, not super happy with that. You know what? I can be happy with it if I just go ahead and do something that I'm not happy about, but making even more of these. Then I can essentially just break these and replace them. And oh no, some of them go in the void. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Basically, what I want to do is lead cable out here, lead this over, and then also plug in here, 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 and here behind the machines where it's basically not visible. Connect it like that. This can continue. I can chop this off and this off and connect, connect, out, up, over and attach. And I can remove this as well. And then all I need to do is, yep, this is correct. Block this off, this, 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 and this. And this won't be noticeable until you do that. Uh, then we will do this and this will also start getting stuff, which then will lead to go in like so because that is that this is then set to write is output this is set to write is uh no, nothing hello side config write is output as well then i need to set this to top is input which means yep it is now working just like that and we're still making more power than we're using <laughs> so in the future this is gonna have a bunch of speed upgrades in them because that'll be cool but until then, uh, definitely give me the back of that torch. Uh, yeah, until then, this is going really, really well. I am almost exhausted from figuring this out. Um, now it's annoying me that this is not fully in the center, but you know what? I am not gonna complain. Th this is full. I mean, this upgrade is fairly cheap for us, which is really cool, but eh, there we go. That has been upgraded now to hold basically what's here. Uh, I need to start voiding stuff, don't I? Oh boy. You know what? I might as well use the diamond upgrade. There, there we go. I've saved a little bit of time. I can start trashing some of it. But yeah, that's that's that. I should probably have a crafter up there crafting this into blocks. Can you craft flint, flint blocks by any chance? You can. Block of flint, block of emerald, block of diamond, block of coal, block of lapis. What about the amethyst? Block of amethyst. I mean, that'll compress it a little bit. Or I could add it into drawers. Hmm. Which I can then add even more storage. I don't know. I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. I had a lot more planned, but we had power issues and uh, I was being a dummy. I'm going to go up here and get some fresh air now. Uh, yep, cactus. I'm going to do some farming now. I'm going to do some farming. That always counts the nerves. In the next episode, I'm moving these windmills over here together with a bunch of solar uh, panels. And we're making it so that we can actually get, probably before that actually, we're making it so we can actually get redstone through sieving which we will need to make a bunch of these pulverizers. And for that, I need redstone, so I need to save more. I'll do that uh, between episodes. But yeah, that is what, what's to come. Hope you enjoyed this one. Sorry, it was a bit chaotic and I had no idea what to what, what I was doing. Hopefully that at least makes it a little bit more entertaining. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.